In this video, we will be using Booth algorithm to multiply two different numbers where the multiplicand is a positive number that is unsigned number, multiplier is a signed number which is minus 4. We will try to multiply 7 with minus 4 and we have to check using Booth algorithm whether we get minus 28 or not. So, this example can be taken under multiplication of signed numbers where one we have used right now only one number as signed number. The flow chart for Booth algorithm remains same whether it is a signed multiplicand or a signed multiplier or both are unsigned or maybe signed. This flow chart is going to remain the same. So first what we are going to do we will start assign register A to be 0 all zeros Q minus 1 to be 0 and assume m to be multiplicand, q to be the multiplier and n to be the number of bits. In the q register, we have to check the value q0 and this q-1 register as well. If the bits in these two register are 0, 0 or 1, 1, we have to just ar do arithmetic right shift of a, q, q-1 reduce n by 1 and check whether n is equal to 0. If yes, we can stop. If no, we have to perform this algorithm once again. Again, we have to check these two bits q0 and q-1. If it is 0, 1, we have to add the contents of a with m and put back in a and do the same arithmetic right shift operation, reduce n by 1 and check n. Or if it is equal to 1, 0, what we have to do, we have to subtract m from a and dump into a and redo the same steps. This is what we are going to do now. For our consideration, we have taken 7 into minus 4 which should result in minus 28. A positive number multiplied with negative gives us a negative number. So we are going to verify this using Booth's algorithm. So, we have already learned that we have to make few initializations like this. a is equal to all 0, 0, 0, q minus 1 to be 0, m will be the multiplicand, q the multiplier, n as a number of bits. So, a is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, q is equal to minus 1. So, m should be the multiplicand. Here, the first one will be m which is multiplicand. The second one will be the q which is multiplier. So, for performing signed multiplication, we have to do some pre-calculations. We have to know what is m, what is minus m. Similarly, what is q, what is minus q. We have to write down all these values before starting our calculations. So, let us do that now. First, we want to write m. Right now, m is going to be an unsigned number. So, never, nothing to worry. m is your multiplier which is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. We have to find what is minus m. Minus m can be found by just calculating 2's complement of m. Let us do that first. So, initially m is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. We have to calculate 1's complement of m which is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0. In order to find 2's complement, we have to just add 1. So, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is nothing but the 2's complement of m which is also equal to minus m which is now 1, 0, 0, 1. So, we have calculated m and minus m. Similarly, we have to calculate q and as well as minus q. What is q? q is equal to minus 4. If you want to calculate minus q, what will be the result? It will be just 4. So, right now it is easy for us to calculate the binary equivalent of 4. Let us do that. So, what is a binary equivalent of 4? 0, 1, 0, 0. If we calculate 1's complement of 4, which will be 1, 0, 1, 1. 
if you add 1 what happens 1 plus 1 will be 0 carry over to 1 1 plus 1 will be 0 carry over to 1 1 and 1 this should be 2's complement of 4 okay so 2's complement of 4 is double 1 double 0 4 equivalent is 0 1 0 0 so 4 equivalent is 0 1 0 0 then it's 2's complement equivalent which is minus 4 which is equal to 1 1 0 0 so right now we have identified what q is what minus q is with all these values and initializations of a and q minus 1 we are going to start our procedure right now for this operation we have how many number of bits 1 2 3 4 therefore n will be equal to 4 okay so we'll start the algorithm for doing that you can make a box like this first we have to do our initializations write those a is equal to 0 0 0 0 okay so now we need q what is q q is equal to 1 1 0 0 q is equal to 1 1 0 0 what is q minus 1 q minus 1 is 0 so we have initialized register a register q and q minus 1 now going to the flow chart you have to start make all initializations what we have to do check q naught and q minus 1 this is the bit q naught and q minus 1 what is the value q naught is 0 q minus 1 is 0 what happens if it is 0 0 0 0 we have to just do arithmetic right shift reduce n by 1 check whether n is equal to 0 if not redo the algorithm again for 0 0 just arithmetic right shift ok so how can you do that this 0 will be here 0 remaining bits 0 1 1 as such and this 0 will be here write remaining 3 bits as such and copy the first bit and paste it once again so this is going to be the first operation and where n will be equal to so if you assume this to be n n will be at 4 we have initialized what we have to do reduce by 1 so now n will be equal to 3 is it equal to 0 no so we have to redo the algorithm what we have to do again check q naught and q minus 1 again it is only 0 0 therefore we have to go for arithmetic right shift once again so when you shift what happens the q naught will now be pushed to q minus 1 write the three bits as such bring a naught here and write it in the first location retain remaining three bits as such and the fourth bit will be again zero just copy paste this bit now what you have to do reduce n by 1 now n is equal to 2 it is not 0 therefore you are going to continue the algorithm in order to continue again we have to check q naught and q minus 1 it is 1 and 0 what happens if it is 1 and 0 you have to perform a equal to a minus m after performing this operation you have to go for right shift so first we will do this a is equal to a minus m for that we need a what is a a equal to 0 0 0 0 we need minus m what is minus m minus m is 1 0 0 1 minus m is 1 0 0 1 this is a value of minus m now we have to add these two together 1 0 0 1 so replace that value here 1 0 0 1 because that is what we have to do a minus m a minus m or a plus of minus m both are same that is what we have done I am replacing the value here write q as such 0 0 1 1 and q minus 1 as such next what we have to do we have to go for an arithmetic right shift what is happening now 
shift q naught to q minus 1 write remaining 3 bits as such bring the last bit of a attached to q this becomes 1 write remaining 3 bits of a as such copy this bit and write it here so shift operation is done now what you have to do again reduce n by 1 now n is equal to 1 you have to perform the algorithm once again because n is not equal to 0 check q naught q minus 1 what is the value it is 1 1 if it is 1 1 it is just arithmetic right shift so let us shift it once again this becomes 1 because q naught will be shifted to q minus 1 write all three bits as such bring 0 from a write it here remaining bits of a as such copy the bit and replace it once again we have done the right shift again what we have to do we have to reduce n by 1 it becomes 0 when n is equal to 0 what we have to do stop the algorithm so what we received at the last this value is going to be our answer 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 this is what we have obtained so what we have to do we have to check whether 7 into minus 4 what is 7 into minus 4 it was minus 28 we have reached some binary value whether this is equal to minus 28 or not we have to check that in order to do so first let us try to binarize the value of 28 which will be equal to 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 and now we have to find one's complement of 28 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 add 1 along with that 1 plus 1 will be 0, you will have a carry, again it will be 0, you will have a carry 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is the 2's complement of 28 which is equal to minus 28. So let us check whether we have received the same answer. Triple 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So, it is triple one zero zero one zero zero. Yes, both are equal. So, this is equal to minus 28. Actually, 7 into minus 4 is minus 28. After performing operations, we have received some binary equivalent. When we convert that equivalent and check its value, it is minus 28. Both are equal. So, right now, we took as unsigned multiplicand and a signed multiplier and try to use booth algorithm do some few steps and check whether the values are equal it is right now done hope the explanation was clear the complete content is being digitized for ease of understanding hope the explanation was clear thanks for watching